Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Finally, after quite a while of no free game offerings, the Epic Store is back at it. They've got the free game. I know a lot of you guys don't like the Epic Store, but they are offering some great free games. And hey, you can download the client, download all of the free games, and never drop a single penny. So it's worth it in that regard. Also, we know what the next free game is going to be in two weeks from now, and it's a great game, a game that I've talked very highly of, a game that I actually have a full review on on my channel, one of the few games I reviewed. So I want to talk about that as well. Also, we've got a very cool game coming from 3D Realms. They are going back to their roots with Wrath, Aeon of Ruin. Game just got announced in 3D Realms. Of course, the creators of Duke Nukem 3D, Prey, and Max Payne, so we'll talk about that. Also, GOG is doing something very interesting. They are partnering with Blizzard, and they're bringing all of the classic Blizzard titles to GOG, the first one being the original Diablo. That game is available right now, so that is some great news. Also, Devil May Cry 5 is out tomorrow. If you want to get the game a little bit cheaper i got you covered 25 percent off on that game so 45 dollars for dmc5 quite a bit more palatable than its typical 60 dollar price point so we'll talk that at the end of this video first up slime rancher is free on the epic store right now and it's the first free game in quite a while i thought 2019 was gonna be a big year for a lot of free games but honestly over the last few weeks it's been a little bit quiet and, you know, I'm probably the only person on the internet complaining about not getting stuff for free, but it seemed like for a while we were just getting free games every week, and now I feel like it's been a couple of weeks, and I think the last free game offering was from Epic as well. So, hey, maybe they're going to be the main contender when it comes to free games, but I do think everybody else is going to get back on board. And again, the free game right now is Slime Rancher, a game that typically goes for $19.99 on Steam. It does go on sale from time to time. And a game that has an overwhelmingly positive reception on Steam. Over 20,000 reviews have been posted for Slime Rancher and 96% of them are positive. And the game itself is described as a charming first-person sandbox experience. You play as a plucky young rancher who sets out for a life a thousand light years away from Earth on the far, far range. Each day presents new challenges and risky opportunities as you attempt to amass a great fortune in the business of Slime Ranch and collect colorful slimes, grow crops, harvest resources, and explore the untamed wilds through the mastery of all your purpose backpack. You'll grow crops and raise chickadoos, you'll complete daily requests, you'll earn money to upgrade yourself, you'll use slime signs to find rare resources, and you'll explore a sprawling world. This is a game that I do believe was a part of a Humble Monthly before, so I actually do own the game, but I haven't played it. A couple of my friends, however, did play it, and they thought very highly of it, as did the north of 20,000 Steam reviewers. Again, overwhelmingly positive reception. So check that out. Again, another good offering from the Epic Story game that typically goes for $20, but now is available absolutely free. With Slime Rancher now being free we know what the next game free is going to be and that is oxen free oxen free will be free from march 21st until april 4th i'll give you guys a heads up when we get closer to that date but oxen free is a tremendous tremendous game it was actually developed by people that worked on telltale games coming of age story a group of teenagers go on this island trip supernatural beings are introduced and all hell breaks loose however i think the real strength of oxen free is the character development the character interaction i just found the game very relatable especially the time i played it. i believe it was back in 2015 2014 just coming really right off of those coming of age years really hit home for me a great story here great art style again i do have a review of this game posted on my channel so you guys can dig that up if you're interested but a great game and that will be free from march 21st until april 4th for now you can check out slime rancher for free and it'll be available free from now until march 21st so again yet another great offering from the epic store if they persist with these great free game offerings i'm gonna continue recommending them even though i'm not a fan of some of the business practices they've pulled free games are free games and you guys should take advantage of them Moving on from that, the guys over at 3D Realms have announced a very interesting game. Back to the roots for them with Wrath, Aeon of Ruin. This is a game with a very old school presentation style. It's a first person shooter with that old look. It's got that old school look like an old Duke Nukem game had. And it presents a hardcore first person shooter powered by the legendary Quake 1 tech crafted by the hands of Quake Scene. Necromancer Wrath is the real deal. You will not survive. The game tells that you are an outlander once adrift upon the ageless sea. You now find yourself on the shores of a dying world. From the consuming darkness emerges a figure cloaked in white the shepherd of wayward souls who burdens you with the task of hunting down the remaining guardians of the old world you must journey into the vast gloom to explore ancient ruins discover forgotten secrets and battle the horrors that lurk within again it is developed on quake 
one tech and the veins of Wrath pump with the DNA of revered 90s shooters, Wrath embraces the timeless elements of classic titles such as Doom, Quake, Duke Nukem 3D, Blood, Unreal, and Hexen, and carries them into the 21st century. Of course, just looking at the game in old school presentation style, so I don't know if this is going to really hit home with new gamers, but definitely some nostalgic elements in there as well. And I do imagine they're going to make it a more palatable experience for those of us that are playing games in 2019. It is due out summer of this year. A game to add to your wishlist kind of came out of nowhere. So it's going to be pretty cool to see how this game develops as well. Moving on from that, GOG is doing something awesome. They have teamed up with Blizzard to release classic Blizzard titles on their service, and this is a win-win for everyone, and the first game that they've put out is Diablo. The original Diablo is now out on PC and on GOG. The 1996 action RPG that introduced players to the harsh and deeply rewarding world of the Sanctuary, Diablo is now yours to buy over on GOG, so it's DRM free, and it's available for just $9.99, so pretty cheap, and with it being on GOG, it probably means that it's gonna go on sale at at some point that's what i'm excited for more than anything because blizzard titles tend to hold up in value for the majority of the year and diablo isn't going to be the only game they put out again they're going to be releasing select classic blizzard titles and i think they're also putting out warcraft and warcraft 2 i think that came out directly from a blizzard q a so great to see Diablo make a return onto GOG, and what's even great from a Blizzard standpoint, I believe GOG is going to be doing all the work in making sure that these games are forward compatible with the newest hardware. So for them, it's just a win on that board. They get to make some revenue on some old games, some games that they're not putting some work into. GOG is making some revenue on the basis that they're selling these games. Diablo is going to be working on newer hardware. That's a win for the consumer. I don't see anyone losing out with this partnership. Just great news for gamers all around. Yes, Diablo is an older game. Are you really going to be going back and playing Diablo as a new gamer. I don't know, maybe you have interest, but if you did play back in the day, you're going to have a lot of nostalgia going back to Diablo 1. I myself poured a lot of time into Diablo 3. The older Diablo games, I really can't go back to them and play it, but if you do want to, again, that's available for $9.99. I'll leave a link in the description box below, and of course, this game is a breeze to run. You can run it on integrated graphics, no problem. And lastly, we've got a pretty major game coming out tomorrow in Devil May Cry 5. I talked about the reviews for the game. The reviews are looking really strong. Currently, the PC version of the game has a 90 on Metacritic. That is an awesome score. On Metacritic, it's always hard to hit that 90 threshold, but Devil May Cry 5 has done just that. I do believe the PlayStation 4 version is ranking a little bit lower. I think it's at an 86 or an 88 or something like that, but still, that's a very strong score. And with it coming to PC, you know there's going to be opportunities to get a great deal on it, and an opportunity is available right now over at GamesPlanet.com. It is 25% off for $45. Not a steep, steep discount, but this game isn't even out yet, so to get any kind of a discount, that is a win in my book. I'm very excited for this game. I'm going to pick it up day one, and now that I can get it for a little bit cheaper at $45, hey, that beats $59.99. And DMC5, for a lot of people, this is a game that's going to be on the fence. You're on the fence on whether or not you pick it up day one for $60, or you wait for a sale. Well, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You don't get the steepest discount in the world, but you also get to preload the game and play it on day one. Games Planet is super reputable, so $45 for DMC5 is great. And again, the reviews have been really strong from a story standpoint, gameplay standpoint, visual standpoint standpoint the game is just doing really really well and i'm so happy to see devil may cry get back on track i've loved pretty much every devil may cry game outside of dmc2 dmc2 was a train wreck but dmc1 was great as was dmc3 dmc4 not as good but still very good i even love the devil may cry title from ninja theory honestly for some people that's their favorite game in the series a lot of people just didn't like the visual changes but devil may cry 5 is a return to form and great to see capcom just killing it right now in gaming you look at monster hunter world you look at resident evil 2 mega man 11 and now Devil May Cry 5, they have just quietly become one of the best publishers in all of gaming today. Have they put out a bad game recently? It's just been home run after home run after home run, and we need to see more publishers like that. I'll be supporting DMC5 again, $45 at Games Planet. Link in the description box below. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, you can get Slime Rancher for free right now. Oxen Free will be free in two weeks. Wrath Aeon of Ruin is a game to keep an eye on. Diablo has just hit GOG. And again, Devil May Cry 5 for $45. That's a great deal. That's gonna wrap up this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, as always, leave it in the comments, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.